We've talked a lot about PHP in this course, and I'd like to cover a bit about databases in PHP. In particular, I'm just going to be talking about the PDO extension. It stands for PHP Database Objects, and the aim is that it gives us a consistent interface, a library that we can use with any number of different database backends. I don't know if you've used many different database platforms from PHP, but the Postgres libraries, the MySQL libraries, the SQLite libraries, they're all just slightly different in the way that their methods are named, in the parameters that they take, and so on. So PDO aims to give us a common set of functionality. What it doesn't do is it doesn't get us away from the fact that different database backends support different SQL syntaxes, but it does give us a common way of expressing what we want to do in PHP. If you're using MySQL Connect, um, hopefully you're not because that's deprecated, um, it's certainly in current versions of PHP, uh, MySQL I Connect would be better. Uh, then PDO is a replacement for that. It gives you an object-oriented interface, so it's quite an elegant way of working with databases, with connections to databases, and with individual queries, whether you're running a select statement or actually changing the data on the database. So that's the common interface, and it handles a really large number of uh, database backends. So when you deal with PDO, you instantiate a PDO object, and that represents your connection to the database. The constructor to PDO takes what we call a DSN. stands for data source name, and on the slide here I've got some examples. The first one is for connecting to a MySQL backend. So there I need to supply a DSN, which is MySQL colon, normally you'll give the host name, you can optionally give the database name in the same connection, and then the username and password details. If I work with a different database backend, this example here I have SQLite, all I need to do is give a different DSN. I still just instantiate a PDO um, object. I'm still going to make queries against that. It's going to look very similar with the way that I interface with PDO from PHP, but for SQLite, just give a different DSN. You don't need credentials when you work with SQLite, it just talks to a local file. PDO gives us, like I say, a nice interface. If you're doing a query, you're dealing with a PDO statement object. The result sets that come back, you can iterate over them without loading them all into memory. It's a really, really nice solution, and I think it's an ideal way of working with modern databases in PHP. Um, the other sections that I'm going to cover while I'm talking about PDO are showing you a lot of different ways to get the best out of your select statements. And I'm also going to show you how to make other kinds of queries and understand the data that you get back from the database.